That's crazy here. I hope y'all have had a blessed day today. Guys, this is rare. I'm going to be reacting to... The reason why it's re rare is not because I'm reacting, but it's because I'm reacting to an interview with MB Youngboy. And the thing about MB Youngboy is that he's not one to put himself out there with interviews. He's kind of just doing his own thing, if you will. Doesn't really care too much. Um, but he has this interview with Billboard, and it'll be very interesting. It's number five on trending right now, which is pretty crazy. Um, but he talks about his fame, his music, um, just the way he's just where he's at now and what he's trying to change. So this will be very interesting. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight to it. Oh, and remember to like and subscribe. All right, let's get it. Sorry, I started over. I just found myself the one day. Like, alright, you did it. Nothing's wrong with you. That is, that is what Utah is looking like right now. I'll tell you that much. You okay to walk this earth? You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. I'm just curious on a man that I'm going to become. looking like a movie right now dude this chain's so hard bro it's so sick i think i grew out of liking music like the love for it but it's like it's therapy it's the only way i can express myself and as i sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth i feel relieved Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life. What? And I woke up one morning out. This man had a million dollars at 16. That's just, that's just mind-boggling to me. So as we see, he has had this wealth at a pretty young age, in his teenage years. And I'm guessing that he just wants to... Actually, you know what? Let's just... Don't know. Like, Let's damn, see what he's going to say. They got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel very wrong. Wow. So with all that fame, he was getting the money. Well-deserved. Great artist, right? But when it comes down to it, what's going to be left? With your, with, your, with your future life moving forward. He says, I literally can buy anything I want, but there has to be more purpose to the, this than just get it, getting a bag each time. So, and, and plus, it's really interesting too. He states, um, let, me, let me go back real quick. What do you say? Look at the shit I spoke to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn. They got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man. Wow. And he... I mean, he's going through a process right now where he's like, look what I've literally done. Making music, just like how every rapper does. And usually when, when rappers do their thing, they're talking about drugs, killing, all that stuff, right? But they can be bops. NBA Youngboy makes bops all the time. But he realized that it's like, is that something what I, I want to constantly be talking about to people? And he's, he's seen it, the effect of what he said in the songs not work for those he's speaking to on the other side. Very interesting. I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? How many kids and people have gotten on call? I'll put this shit in their ears and actually hurt someone and now I'm sitting back like damn I can't do it all in one day but I promise to clean whatever I can clean 
but it's gonna take time. Way to go. Way to go, young boy. Jeez. I actually want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I could double back and purchase some of these while I could have my fun. <laughs> That's my accountant, Miss Quintina, making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs me to be human. This man is making a beautiful change. For, for, for his New Year's resolution, he's changing a lot of things. His music, he's going to change. He's, he just spoke on that. He's talking about his cars, how he, how he doesn't need them anymore. He has a he has a manager that looks over all the stuff that he's he's buying. He's be, he's being smart. He's being smart. The thing about other artists is that they aren't being smart, and he realizes that he could have went down a hole where he kept doing that, just kept following what other rappers usually do, right? But no, he is guys. He's making a change for the better. I'm just. I'm just very, just happy, very happy for him. When he needs somebody to talk to, whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel, my protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he love people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> one of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really mess with nobody, but he likes you. He's like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural. like. Just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. <laughs> and I consider him a brother. That's awesome. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. I am very scared of people. Like all my kids. I'm terrified of people, and I'm very shy. Hmm. But I never knew why. Once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. But I'm terrified of people. I have never, guys. After this interview, everyone's gonna look at NBA YoungBoy in a in a different way. Very, very humble dude. A shy dude. Someone that's an introvert. He's not an extrovert whatsoever. And honestly, me just listening to his his music, I would definitely think he was like just crazy. He's just like all like all over the place, just like, you know, what's good? Like what's good type deal, you know? But no, he's totally humble. Man, it's just like I'm my mind's just boggled right now with, with the things that like I haven't seen the, the the side of NBA Young Boy, so it's really interesting. People are cruel. Like you can't control all the stuff, so you never know what someone will do. Sorry, I keep pausing this, but I gotta say one more thing too. Is like he's scared of people, and the thing is with his stardom right now, and we've we've seen all the killings that have happened with, sh- with shootings going on. And rip to rip to all those folks, and that is what NBA YoungBoy is not trying to be part of. He's not trying to be part of that that life, right? That's that's honestly why he moved to Utah. And you know, I just gotta say something real quick. I'm part of the LDS community, or as so called Mormon, um, but it is a it is a very uplifting and beautiful community of people that want the best for 
each and every one. And that's what we teach. That's what we teach in our gospel. That's what other faiths do too. So he's just in a good state of mind right now. And him going back to, you know, where, wherever he was last, his old hood, it's not going to, it's not going to help whatsoever. If any, if anything, it's just going to make things worse. He's going to have people in his life that come back in slinging drugs a robbery case or you know doing something like that out of the out of the blue but we see we see this different side like i said and he's he's staying strong love it love it always you know knew what he was doing and what he had going on his music and his buzz and and i uh, was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from. You know what I mean? They, they are some of the hardest working people in the business. Believe it. I think Believe his it. Will be himself. He's not going to be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. This was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set on becoming. And that's what it was. Top forever, you know. There's always to be another artist, but there'll never be another young boy. I will not be provoked, I will not be broken, and I'm not going back to where I used to be. Boom! Say it loud and proud. Accepted or not. Get more groovy from here. <laughs> Hear that? Yeah, I this door. It's gonna be a whole lot of doom. Hopefully you guys, after listening to MB Youngboy talking about where he's currently at right now, if you guys are in that situation where MBA Youngboy used to be at, look where he is now. Look at the change he's making in his life. It's it's so it just shows you if NBA MBA Youngboy can do it, make the great change that he's doing, anybody can. Anybody can change their ways. And look, and look to something much better. Oh man, this is this is great. And I, I know this isn't the usual videos I I, I do, but um, but I just don't want this to this to pass up because I love NBA Young Boy. I love his music. I, I love what he's put down. But just to see him be able to switch to a different person is is really really cool to see um but other than that i hope you guys liked um like this video subscribe if you haven't yet um shout out mb young boy man love peace